Does this seem confusing to you? Fight on this game. All right, teleporting in for Wolf. He's going to get caught up by a seismic shove. This might be the fourth kill of the game. As Wolf is running away with that thick skin and the gray hat. Let's bang. That's up in the top lane. It's a focus. Collateral damage comes down. Remember those alternate facts of the gold lead? This is Gigabyte Marine. Even if it doesn't, there's definitely a lot of stuff you didn't notice at first glance. Everyone kind of feels overwhelmed when they're looking at these team fights, hence the existence of team fight breakdown videos. But no matter how confusing this may seem to you, today I am here to give you the guidelines of improving your team fight capabilities. I don't think I need to tell you what a team fight is, right? What's really important is for you to start getting a feel over when one is about to begin and whether or not it is good for your team to be participating in it. How do you judge this? Well, there's quite a good number of factors you should consider before diving headfirst into an Illawi at 19 minutes. Number 1. Your team's fighting potential. Does your team have a lot of AoE damage or stuns? Do you have a combo that you can exploit? What is your team comp's main goal? By first taking a look at what champions in your team can achieve together, you can get a good grasp of whether or not you should be forcing teamfights. This can be done as early as the loading screen. You will most likely get a few good seconds to evaluate your team as a group and what you should aim for combo-wise. So next time, don't all tap to Facebook so quickly. 2. The enemy team's fighting potential. Same as the first point, but not so much looking at your own belly button. This is something else you can do as early as the loading screen. What will the enemy attempt to pull off in your team fights? Do they have an initiator that you need to be paying special attention to? An assassin that will attempt to flank you? And people think the loading screen is for loading. It really isn't. 3. Summoner spell cooldowns. Perhaps one of the most undervalued aspects of team fights globally. Do you know whether any of the high priority targets has flashed before jumping in head first? Are you pinging that information? Do you have timestamps active to help you keep track? Why the hell not? But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Look at your own team's summoners. Does your ADC have his flash and heal up before the fight or are they about to come up? You might want to hold off on that fight for just 30 seconds more. Number 4. Positioning. Perhaps what really defines the outcome of a fight. Are you well positioned? Are your allies well positioned for a fight? Is any enemy out of position? I've made a whole guide on positioning only, so check it out if you have trouble in this point. Number 5. One of the biggest tips I've ever learned from a master player. And this is especially for the squishy damage dealers out there. You need to know right from the start which abilities you will want to flash from. Is there a fed Malphite focusing you down? A fed Ari that is literally ulting to the backline to charm you? By preparing yourself beforehand, you can most likely disrupt the enemy's team fight completely. Just take a look at point number 3 and make sure your flash is up, please. Okay, so these 5 are what to look out for and how you should judge whether you should fight or not. Visual informations and preparations, but how do you actually improve at team fighting? Well, in my opinion, there's 3 crucial things you need to know and you'll be decisive in those aces in no time. 1. Practice makes perfect. It literally takes time for you to get good at anything. And especially in the case of team fights, you need to fight a lot and you'll improve. And number two will give you a little cheat to practice. Number two, play ARAM. Try to always play one or two of these a day, and especially when you're tilted or on a losing streak. The fact that it doesn't really affect your rank or MMR can provide you with some good relaxation, and you'll also be unconsciously improving your team fighting abilities. Three, know what you have to do. Do it and get the hell out. Team fights may look confusing, but that's only because you're looking at them as a whole. If you focus on one thing, namely your job in it, they'll become much, much simpler. Because it doesn't matter what your jungler or your top is doing. If you're the ADC, destroy those tanks. Mid, blow up those squishies. Support, protect those scaries who are carrying your ass. Focus on one job and watch yourself win in it. I hope this video helped you out, it's the last of this Improving at League Series 1. I'll be starting a new one in about 2 weeks and upping my upload schedule, so literally subscribing right now might be a very good idea, so don't miss any of it. Love you guys. Sake us out.